Conservative MP for North Dudley. Uh, welcome to the programme, Marco. Uh, it's a very tense day in Westminster. We're expecting this report to uh, land in Downing Street at 10 a.m., according to uh, my latest information. And after that, Prime Minister's questions and a statement. How do you expect the Prime Minister to be able to weather this? Well, good morning, Tom. And judging by the uh, items you have on your desk, I think I should be joining you in the studio rather than talking to you from my office. Well, um, I'm told this is just I normal, think... normal office uh, material, apparently, according to the leader of the opposition and indeed the prime minister. Uh, well, look, come on, Tom, you know as well as I do that the government uh, and the team around the prime minister at number 10 worked 24-7 to save individuals' lives, to save the country, to save businesses, to save jobs. Uh, they were scrambling around over months and months to make sure that we'd got the correct, and, and the correct amount of PPE. All sorts of things were happening and staff were asked to do incredible things and they delivered. And as far as I'm concerned, if the Prime Minister raises a glass to them to say thank you, that does not constitute a party, that is a thank you. Uh, and he's saluting them for what uh, they have done. Of course, many people will want to say that this is a party, that this, you can see he's got his red box there ready to go out. Um, so this is all that it is. Are, are we actually saying that people were told not to drink uh, at home uh, or not to drink in their place of work? Uh, that wasn't in any guideline. This is the prime minister saying thank you to everybody for doing an incredible job as I said, saving the country. Now, I think a lot of people can understand that the Prime Minister would have wanted to say thank you to his staff. Indeed, it was reported in the Sunday Times that very week that the Prime Minister uh, gave a speech uh, in the office of Lee Kane, where that photograph was taken on that evening that that photograph was taken. Although left out in that report, of course, was the alcohol. And I wonder if a significant part of Sue Gray's report, as we saw in the hints of the interim report, is going to be speaking about a culture of alcohol in Downing Street and indeed in Whitehall. Because, of course, these fines weren't just given in Number 10 Downing Street, as the impression is often given, but right across that sprawling complex of hundreds of offices uh, around that part of, the, uh, of, of government property. Uh, is there a problem of alcohol at the heart of government? Well, obviously, Tom, you wouldn't expect me to preempt the report. Uh, I wasn't there at that party. And this is a matter for Sue Gray. All of the information, this is a report, let's not forget, that was commissioned by the Prime Minister uh, in the interest of transparency. So if he really didn't want to uh, let people know what was happening, then he probably wouldn't have done so. So he has always been very transparent. He has always said what he believed was the case uh, as to what has happened. And if Sue Gray does come out and describe uh, the culture there, then, of course, the Prime Minister will take action based on the recommendations from the report. He's already uh, taken action on, on, on the running of Number 10, which you quite rightly describe as a labyrinth of many, 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 many offices with hundreds and hundreds of people working there, something over which the Prime Minister does not have detailed operational control over. 